Hi everybody, I'm Billy Ray Cyrus. Don't go anywhere because Profiles is coming right up. Welcome to Profiles, I'm Marley Hall. Today's guest is actor and recording artist Billy Ray Cyrus. In the early 90s, Cyrus burst onto the music scene with his number one mega hit, Achy Breaky Heart, and his debut album, Some Gave All, evolved into the fourth biggest selling album of the 90s. After a short break, we'll join our host Mickey Burns as he welcomes the popular Billy Ray Cyrus to Profiles. Welcome back to Profiles. Besides his recording career, over the past four years, Billy Ray Cyrus has been starring on the number one rated series on the PAX network, Doc. And he's currently starring alongside his daughter, Miley, on the Disney Channel's Hannah Montana, which scored the highest ratings of any show to debut on that network. So let's join our host, Mickey Burns, on location from Ashford and Simpson Sugar Bar in the heart of New York City, as he welcomes the talented Billy Ray Cyrus to Profiles. You are just a woman. I am just a man Though I may not feel Ever need I hope you understand I want to be your Joe I want to be your Joe Billy Ray Cyrus, welcome to our show Profiles. Thank you, it's good to be with you. Pleasure meeting you. For our viewers, singer, actor, uh, currently celebrating the release of your latest album, which is called Want to Be Your Joe which honors uh, the heroes and music of a generation that brought country and rock together. Is that true? Yeah, the album is a conglomeration of a lot of different styles of music. You know, for me, growing up in my Pentecostal roots, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. hearing a lot of Southern gospel music, uh, a lot of blues, a lot of bluegrass, uh, and, and a lot of uh, uh, straight ahead country combined with um, some hardcore rock and roll, so that's pretty much what I do. Sure. Now you've had enormous success as a crossover artist, as other country stars like Crystal Gale and Lee, Lee Green would have had in the past. Uh, on your new album, you wrote or co-wrote all 12 tracks. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And as an artist, is it important for you to write and perform your own material? I, I love to um, write songs. I, it's, that's my release and that's how I kind of deal with things, you know. Um, uh, my favorite part of the process is writing the songs and then recording it and then uh, doing a lot of the harmonies. Again, going back to my, you know, Southern Gospel roots, uh, harmonies were a big part of that. And I, I love to do the harmonies myself and stack them and do different parts. And, and just the whole creative process is really a, a whole lot of fun for me. Right. Now, on, on the new album, you wrote all 12. 12 tunes. That's right. Yeah. Uh, would you even consider having other people doing oh. other people's material? Oh, I, I nobody loves to receive a hit song better than me. <laughs> I, I love to do other people's material if, if they got something that that uh, fits what I do. Sure. Now, for the past four years, you've been starring on the uh, number one rated series on the PAX Network, Doc. Mm. Uh, how did Billy Ray Cyrus get into acting? You know, I was just. Um, uh, in the mid 90s, um, I had started dabbling around in acting just a little bit and done Diagnosis Murder and The Nanny mm -hmm, and a mm -hmm, couple mm -hmm. of things, The Love Boat. And, and while I was doing The Love Boat, I saw that David Lynch was casting for a film called Mulholland Drive. So I went and auditioned for it, and they hired me. And working with David, you know, he, he just said, you know, if you want to be an actor, you can be one. Just do exactly what you're doing on our set here and be real. And, Again, that's what I do in making music is, you know, I just try to be real and then I found out that acting's the same thing. So I started doing, I did Mulholland Drive and sure did. a week after that then I went in and auditioned for Doc and they hired me and four years, 88 episodes yes. later, I served a pretty good apprenticeship of sure have. acting. And you, you recently said there's a lot of people around the world that know me more as an actor than as a singer. Perhaps, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of folks, I get a lot of people calling me Doc. And yeah. <laughs> and now I got a lot of kids calling me Miley's dad. You yeah, know? well, that, so, uh, that was my next. My next question yeah. was: You're also besides your music and your appearances, you're also starring with your daughter Miley on the Disney Channel's Hannah Montana, which That's is right. huge. Oh, it's going uh, really good. It's yeah. Scored the highest ratings of any show 
to debut on that network. So more importantly, it must be uh, really special for you to have the opportunity to work with your daughter. Oh, I love working with Miley and being with Miley and watching her grow as a little girl now becoming a young lady, mm -hmm. watching her evolve as an, an actress, which really she found the, the perfect show for her because it's, it's a combination of the Miley that I've always known yeah. evolving into some type of like a Lucille Ball meets Dolly Parton yeah, and keeping yeah. her personality with all of that. It's right. It's been really awesome to right. just and of watch course, this The producers thing. said that it was her intuitive timing, a comedic timing that basically got her the job. And for yeah. our viewers out there who may be saying, well, she got the job because of her father's celebrity. What they should know is that she beat out a thousand other actors for that job. And she got the job first. She sure did. Yeah. And, of course, her singing didn't hurt her. Oh, she sings her butt off. Her album comes out in October, and uh, there's a lot of uh, great music on there, and her vocal performances are, are awesome. But she also writes a lot of songs. She's got a, a, uh, a really uh, unique spirit for mm -hmm. for such mm -hmm. a, a young girl the songs that she writes about comes from some type of depth you know you've heard the old saying she must have an old soul uh, yes. I think Miley's yes. definitely got an old soul well when they first cast you as her dad on the show uh, I read somewhere that you said that you weren't sure you could pull it off originally mm -hmm. and and you said let me just repeat what you said you said the last thing I wanted to do after she had worked so hard to get the show was to come on board and mess it up yeah I wouldn't want to do that. And, and, you, and I understand that as a father, you probably felt that you could or well, might. I just, you know, most importantly that, you know, she'd worked and went through an auditioning process again that, that she'd really earned that spot. Sure. And, and as a daddy, the last thing I wanted to do, because I always felt like Hannah Montana really had a shot at being a hit. And mm -hmm. I also felt mm -hmm. like it could be something very major for Miley. And uh, I wanted to make sure they had the right dad. Yeah, yeah, and they did. Yeah, it and worked they out did. all right. And it's a big hit. Who said, who said you can't be worldwide? I say, I say, time is on your side. Who said, who said Jake won't be the guy? I say, I say, give it another try. Who, who said, who said, said you can't be 10 feet tall? I say, I say that I can have it all. Cyrus also holds the record for the longest time at number one for a debut album. Some Gave All remained at number one for 17 weeks. Stay right where you are. We'll be back with much more on Profiles after these important messages. Welcome back to Profiles. I'm Marley Hall. Billy Ray Cyrus originally intended to play professional baseball, but later turned his attention towards music. The success of Achy Breaky Heart helped renew the popularity of line dancing and made Cyrus a star. Now back to Mickey Burns and the versatile Billy Ray Cyrus. Well, she was just trying to even out the sides and, and get rid of the orange. I'm not going to say a thing. Well, thank you. I'm going to sing a thing. I once knew a girl named Nina, and boy, she was a fine. So I gave my sweetie my golden locks. Now I look like a bluebird's behind. A bluebird's behind, a bluebird's behind. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, backtrack a little bit. Uh, born in Kentucky, native of the state. Uh, growing up, your goal was to be a professional baseball player. In the late 70s, you uh, starred on Russell, Kentucky's first state championship high school football team. My question is, did you have any regrets giving up your athletic ambitions for music? No, I, I don't have any regrets. Um, the day that I traded my catcher's mitt um, for a guitar and started my band, that was probably a wise move. That was it for you? Uh, yeah, that was it. I, I never played another game. Except for the celebrity softball games. I do that. Like that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. played a little softball, but but I always thought I was going to be Johnny Bench. I thought I was going to be the catcher for the Cincinnati Reds. And though I'd always played music and always um, loved making music, I, you know, I just thought my destiny was to be the catcher for the Reds. Uh, but my inner voice just kept saying, you know, buy a guitar and start a band, buy a guitar and start a band. And uh, it was just so overwhelming that uh, I did and uh, never looked back. 